Hey everybody, I wanted to come to you and talk to you about black children and positive image. And this is a really quick video, but I thought right before the holidays, this is the perfect time to talk about this. Um, a lot of you may not know this, but when I was growing up, my, my father was very adamant about me having dolls and resources and things in front of me that look like me to help me build a positive self Im image at a young age. So what I've done is I have put together a like resource guide on Amazon on great black books for young kids, male or female, of varying ages. Just because that's what was done to me and um, a lot of times we forget the significance of what it is to show our young children you know images of themselves in different forms starting at a young age so I have some old so bear with me dolls that my father actually used to have made because uh, for me because in the early 80s it was very difficult to find black dolls that really looked like a real black child you know with our hair and all that kind of stuff so um I'm going to start with the infamous Cabbage Patch, who were on the game before a lot of people were. I had the little boy in the diaper and everything like that. And, okay, you have to remember, he's old, so they used to use yarn for the hair. But yarn is close to our natural hair texture. And for those of you that are natural mothers or fathers or aunts or uncles or godparents or sisters or cousins... And you want to encourage them to love their hair, even if they choose to relax, but you want to encourage them to love their hair. This is a great way to start by showing them dolls that look like them. So this was one. And look, he's chocolate just like me. You know, and this also helps with, you know, that image of being, you know, dark skin or cinnamon or whatever, when your peers may not be the same. So if you're caramel and peanut butter and milk chocolate and dark chocolate and a swirl and all that you know this is these books and dolls and toys and resources are great gifts whether it's for Christmas or for birthdays or just because here's another one she's a little dirty but she's got a little patch on the top of her head how cute right all my cabbage patch dolls okay this is she don't have no clothes on so I'm just show her head now my dad was not a fan of this doll because she had this kind of hair as you can see, I was not a fan of her either because I took her clothes and put it on another doll. But so that are those are the Cabbage Patch dolls. Then, if you remember the, I don't know if you remember the characters of Raggedy Ann and Andy, but this was my Raggedy Ann doll. Not the best, okay, not the best. But look, the hairstyle looks very similar. I love it, and you know she was a pretty decent size. I mean, you know. And I used to love this doll. She has a she has a husband, and I couldn't find his clothes, so I didn't bring him out. I didn't want to have too many unclothed naked dolls. But you know, for nineteen the early nineteen eighties, to have dolls made on a budget, and and now these dolls, you know, are much improved. They really look more like us, but they're easier to find. I just want to put together a resource. Here's another doll I had um, that was made. No, she was not a slave or a sharecropper. This is just, your, you know, the hottest 1970s fashions for dolls. Once again, the hair. But I will tell you, my favorite doll to this day, this is the one I know for sure that he had made. Um, and for those, those of you naturals out there that, you know, we wear our hair in two-strand twists, this doll it was by far my favorite. I used to wear my hair in beads and in braids, if you can see that. I'll show that to you. Turn it around in layers. So she is super cute. Super, super, super cute. And I love her. I actually keep her out um, just because whatever. And I held on to these dolls because, believe it or not, at a young age, I thought somewhere in the back of my head, they're probably not going to have black dolls for my daughter when I have a daughter. So I want to keep these for her. And she was my favorite. I um, look at her; her face is nice and big like mine. Mm. Anyway, I love her. I also um, the site also has a lot of books. It's actually mostly books because here's the thing: you know, 
it's great to have black dolls. I definitely am all about that. And I'll actually um, tell you about another site um, in another video that does dolls for different, you know, ethnicities of children specifically for that reason. But one of the things that I realized about myself when I was younger was that I wasn't a big reader. And part of the reason was because none of the stories looked interesting to me. They didn't have characters on the cover or even in the pictures that looked like me. And so I remember getting books that had people on the cover or in the pages that looked like me. And I found myself reading those even though I wasn't a reader. And so I would encourage you, you never know what a child is going to be interested in until you expose them to certain things, right? It's all about exposure. So, you know, if you're buying them a Wii or whatever the latest, greatest video game, and that's fine, but add some books and some positive images of African Americans into their stocking stuffers, stock, stocking stuffers, you know, leave it lying around. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the books that I held on to that really got me to open up a book as a young African American girl because I saw pictures of black girls on the cover. Um, probably most famous is the Addie series. And this particular series has three books, um, you know, Meet Addie. Addie learns a lesson and Addie's surprise. So, and you see, I mean, she looks like a real black girl. Don't she doesn't look um, you know, washed out and you can't quite tell what her ethnicity is. And I think this is the perfect timing going along with the Disney's Princess and the Frog. But there's been a lot of resources out there before the Princess and the Frog. So um another book was when I got a little older was Rainbow Jordan. That's a sister right there. She got hips and everything. These are what our girls need to see that, you know, or whatever. Another one was Circle of Gold. I mean, you can tell these books are older. So, you know, I'm not just talking out of my face here. Um, famous, Ron Thunder, hear my cry. I mean, come on. Certain books your children should just have. Okay? Or your nieces or nephews or cousins. Um, the Friendship and the Cadillac. Black boys and girls. Because... Even the girls need to see images of black boys. And the black boys need to see images of black girls. we got to keep the black family together. And the last two was Words by Heart and Come a Stranger. And I really like this one because she was a ballerina. And this was my first exposure to a young girl being a ballerina. So um, I would tell you, I purchased a lot of these books um, from Amazon via this site last year for my second cousins. I don't have any brothers and sisters, so I don't have any nieces and nephews. But I bought probably $200 because so the books are like $5.99, $6.99, $3.99. If you get some of them used but new, they can go as low as a penny. Um, and you can still get them in time for Christmas. It's not too late. So I just want to share that with you guys. I took it to the kids and they were so excited. It was three boys and two girls. And I think I gave them each three books. Um, maybe three or four books for the five of them and they were really really excited to see images of people that look like them so I really really encourage you the website is blackkidbooks.com blackkid no s books.com check it out order something for your kids your godchildren your nieces your nephews your cousins your friends baby whatever everybody else is going to be giving them candy and games and clothes give them something that's going to plant a seed in their subconscious that will grow as they get older so i hope you enjoyed the link will be um either at the bottom of this video or if you're watching via youtube or facebook i'll just post it up on um the video description box all right I will see you guys later and I hope that everyone has a wonderful holiday. Bye-bye.